Hey guys, welcome to this video. Andy Math. A square has a perimeter of 40 inches. Another square has a perimeter of 20 inches. What is the ratio of the area of the larger square to the area of the smaller square? So there's two ways we can do this. I'm gonna show you both ways. So the first way, let's draw our two squares. One square and the other square. So if the perimeter is 40 inches, that means each side is gonna be 10 inches. 10, 20, 30, 40. And then if the other one has a perimeter of 20 inches, then each side is gonna be five inches. Five, 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 10, 15, 20. So what are the areas of these? Well, the area of 10 by 10 is 100, and the area of a five by five is 25. And they wanna know what is the ratio of the area of the larger one to the smaller one. So that's 100 over 25, which becomes four. So it really wasn't that hard. So that's a good way to do it. Just draw the actual rectangles. The other thing you can do is using ratios. So if you know that the similarity ratio is A over B, then the area ratio is A squared over B squared. So the similarity ratio is gonna be the same thing as the ratio of the perimeters. So we can literally write 40 over 20, because that's the perimeter of the bigger one over the perimeter of the smaller one. And then we can reduce this. 20 goes into both 40 and 20. So if we divide top and bottom by 20, we get two over one. So now to get the area ratio, we just square two squared over one squared. And two squared is four, and one squared is one. And our answer ends up being four, which is the same thing we got over here. So either way is fine, just drawing the actual squares or remembering that the area ratio is the square of the similarity ratio. And that's it. So if this makes sense, please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides. I'll talk to you guys soon.